A small amount of radioactive iodine has been detected in the thyroid glands of hundreds of children in Fukushima Prefecture. The findings were revealed in a survey that was reported to a meeting of the Japan Pediatric Society in Tokyo on Saturday. The survey was conducted by a group of researchers led by Hiroshima University Professor Satoshi Tashiro. They tested 1,149 children in the prefecture for radiation in their thyroid glands in late March at the request of the government. The researchers say radioactive iodine was detected in about half of the children. Professor Tashiro says radiation in thyroid glands exceeding 100 millisieverts poses a threat to humans, but that the highest level in the survey was 35 millisieverts. Based on the result, it's unlikely that the number of thyroid cancer cases will increase in the future. But we still need to establish a system in which we can find anyone who develops thyroid cancer and treat them immediately. You. What you're trying to say is that I lied to your husband? Well, that's correct, Mrs. Kennicott. I even went so far as to falsify the report. Lawyers in Tokyo are uniting to legally support people and companies affected by the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Lawyers belonging to Tokyo's three bar associations set up a legal team on Friday. The move comes ahead of the start of the government's organization next month to mediate compensation disputes with Tokyo Electric Power Company. Offices for the organization will be set up in Tokyo and Fukushima Prefecture to handle settlements. The legal team says it will begin with about 50 lawyers and increase the number to several hundred. Compensation systems are very complicated and difficult to understand for those who are not familiar with legal matters. I believe it's our duty as legal experts to provide support and to help those affected receive appropriate damages. The lawyers will host a briefing session targeting about 2,000 people next week in Tokyo.